quilting a lone star is a little more complicated than a straight set diamond pattern. The path is most essential to be able to move throughout all these little diamond patches to create the quilting pattern in a fluid flow. So I will start this design at the middle of the star and I will do an orange peel path which means that my design will outline the outer seam lines of the patches as the way that I move from one to the next. So I will start with simple arches and anything I do in addition to the arches to make a decorative quilting design here will be totally accessory. Now, in truth, this would make a wonderful quilting pattern all by itself, but we can also think of it just as a path. First of all, we'll just focus on the path, and later I'll show you how to use it as the launch pad for doing more interesting quilting. So, we have the arch, we make a loop, an arch and an arch, and then the return path. My return path is in red. My blue path will show you the arch around the seam, the arch around the seam, arch around the seam, around the seam, and arch around the seam, and the same arch. That's my path. So I will make an arch around three seams and then return, or I'll make an arch around two seams and then return, depending on the position. Notice how that second leg of the star, I've had to make a double return path. Here I've done only a two arch return to get to the starting point, but here my starting point doesn't work if I enter this diamond from that position. I have to come all the way down here so that when I complete the diamond I'm at another starting point for yet the other large diamond. Follow? I bet you do. That's an orange peel as a path. Mm -hmm.